Thanksgiving is next week and Christmas will be here soon and some people might have a harder time getting the things they need. Some in Alexander County received free turkey meals yesterday. News 3's Waylon Wallace Parker has more. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, but some people might have a harder time getting the food they need. One person shared she brought somebody to receive a meal. It does not stop in Carbondale. It stops at the end, which is Cairo, and we need your help. The Fowler Bonan Foundation, Local 773, and Illinois State Comptroller Susanna A. Mendoza teamed up to provide some meals for people in Cairo. We've seen the economy and the way that inflation has been over the last couple years, so you know everybody's experiencing tough times, and that's one of the reasons why we're here today. Sherry Crab is the CEO of Arrowleaf. She says they handed out 150 meals to families who have used their services before and invited them to receive help for a Thanksgiving meal. 150, you know, obviously doesn't cover the need here in Carroll or Alexander County, um, but we're so happy to be able to be a part of this event each year. Senator Dale Fowler is a chairman for his foundation, and he also shared he gave out 70 meals to people in Thebes earlier. We have a lot of correspondence from the schools and social agencies about how these families are struggling, and we just want to make sure that they have a great meal for Thanksgiving. Volunteers from Marion's local 773 were also present to give out meals today. My grandma has always taught me to give to others that are unfortunate or anything like that. So doing this with my organization is just one of the greatest gifts that I can participate in every day. Jerry Womack is the business manager of the Labor's local 773. He says they made rural places with tough access to food their priority. As things start to develop in this part of the state and, and more more things and infrastructure comes and projects that hopefully that you know we can scale this effort down and, and take it somewhere else. Down shared this is the seventh year that the office is donating food to people and they're also giving away toiletries at the women's shelter. Reporting in Cairo, I'm Waylon Walls Parker, News 3.